Hello, I'm Marie Vargo, Virginia Correctional Enterprises Chief Executive Officer. On behalf of VCE, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for supporting our mission, which is to strengthen future employment opportunities for our inmate workforce through on-the-job training and work development programs. Our dedicated team of designers and manufacturing staff consistently produce quality products that we're proud to deliver to our customers each and every day. Uh, my name is Randall Jackson. I have been here five years and I am the plant manager at OE35. Do everything that you would normally do in a furniture factory. There's really no difference. When in the private sector, you do your job and you go home and that's it. Here, furniture is not the main thing. I mean, it is because it allows us to do what we have to do to help people. But furniture is just the byproduct of what we are trying to build. And what we are trying to build is citizens that will go back and contribute and not come back to prison ever. We don't want anybody to ever come back. And what we're doing in teaching soft skills, hard skills, work ethic, it means something to them. When we were making masks, uh, every person out there has something to do with the mask that we're making. They're cutting them, they're, they're flipping them inside out so that the sewers can go faster so we can make more. Everybody did that. And I can't tell you how proud I am of each and every one of these guys. Every one of them. I've worked at many, many top furniture companies and I will put our quality up against anybody, any day. On our worst day, we're as good as anybody, if not better. And the guys really care. They really do. Each and every one of them. They all care. They all want to do a good job. And they all take pride in it. We had one guy that uh, found out that a sofa he was making was going to the college that his daughter goes to. So let me tell you, he was walking around that sofa. Everything was going to be perfect because he was going to tell his daughter that he made that sofa. Occasionally, we will get phone calls. Uh, from an inmate that has gotten out. And we'll get the phone call and he'll say, man, just thank you so much for helping me. I got a job doing this. I'm supporting my family. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And I couldn't have done it without you. I just want to say thanks. And hang out and never hear from him again. Now I've worked in furniture my whole life and I've never had anything like that. Who has? Who's, who's had that happen to them? where someone calls you and thanks you for just doing your job. Mm -mm. There's nothing that can replace that.